Welcome to the Emily Otto Show, business coaching for rebel healers, priestesses, and other witchy women. This podcast will give you the tools to help you build and scale your online healing business so you can help more people and make more money. My goal is for you to enjoy your life and business with plenty of time for pleasure and play. I am over the moon delighted you're here. Let's start today's episode. Hello, and welcome to the first episode of 2023 for the Emily Otto Show. Hi, I hope you had a fabulous holiday season and new year. Everything feels kind of clunky and slow right now, and there's also this momentum energy. It's really interesting because uh, the Gregorian calendar says that this is the new year. But outside here in North America, where I live in my home in Ann Arbor, Michigan, it's wet and cold and everything feels like a sign to hibernate, to go underground, to slow down. And so I'm playing with this energy of slow down and speed up. And I wonder if you are too. And I was really thinking a lot lately about how to move forward, how to maintain consistency and momentum without the hustle, without striving, and while honoring your body's natural rhythms from wherever you live in the world on the planet right now. And I really think this idea of speeding up and going faster and more, 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 and do, do, do can fall into capitalism (laughs) because what other stages and places in time would we have done more in January? That's not a thing. It's not a thing. My son, Cedar, and I went out for a date um, over the weekend. So ever since Rowan was born, my youngest, I tried to make intentional time with my oldest child. And so we've done these dates where I get a coffee, he gets a chocolate cupcake at the local cafe, Sweetwaters here in Ann Arbor. And he loves them. And he asks about when we can have another mom and Cedar date. And so we had to walk by a gym on the way to Sweetwaters and he's watching people on a treadmill. He's never seen a treadmill. And he's like, mom, what is that? What are those people doing? And I said, yeah, you know, that's kind of strange. And it's nice that people can walk indoors and not slip and fall outside, or they can feel like they can move, but there's all these people, right? It's the second day of January. It's the first real work day of the new year. And so people are moving They're, you know, they have goals, they have aspirations, and they're literally hitting the ground running, hitting the treadmill running. And I was thinking about the cycles of momentum, and especially as spiritual business owners, and female embodied business owners. I think it's so important that we go with the flow, whether that's the flow of our cycle, the moons, or the seasons, especially the season of life we're in. If you have tiny children at home, it's very different running a business than if you have teenagers or if your kids have graduated uh, college, right? It's very different. And so how do we accommodate each stage of life while still moving forward? And there can be the sensation of, well, when it's easier or when it gets better, then I can move my business forward. Or I've just got to wait. I've just got to tough it out. It's going to get better or this will pass. And I would like to pause the terrible and important theory that this won't pass. (laughs) Hear me out. So there's this feeling of, okay, once I'm, once I'm not sick, once I don't have long haul COVID, once I you know, get through this, uh, this flare up from an autoimmune disorder. I have EDS. Um, I have pain flare ups. They're about once a month or so now. Um, they're pretty manageable because I have hired support to help me figure out how to fire the muscles and I avoid certain foods that set it off. So maybe you too have something going on in your life, whether it's an autoimmune disorder or a mental health condition or something physically impeding you from doing what you want to do when you want to do it. Chances are that's the case because you live under late stage capitalism in the dominant culture of North America, and you claim the titles of wild, witchy woman, spiritual business owner. 
there's never going to be a perfect situation where you get to batch all of your content and you get to have six hours to sit down and work on your business, or you get to have, you know, everything just like feels easy and clear and you get all the tasks on your to-do list done. It's not a thing. It's not reality. And so I think it's so important, and this is a perspective I don't hear anyone else talking about. It's so important that we work with where you're at and figure out how to still create consistency, move the needle forward, do what you want to do, make the money you want to make, support the clients you want to support before it's perfect, because it's never going to be perfect. And if you wait, if you keep waiting, then it's just a series and a process of continually waiting for situations to improve without actually getting anywhere. And I don't want that for you. You get to have a multiple six-figure business that you love. You get to do work that lights up your soul and help other people. You get to enjoy this wild and precious life while doing what you want to do. All right. And so some days that might be your desire to have an hour-long dance party And maybe you get one song and it's three minutes. It might be a morning like this morning um, where you wake up after having a hard night and your one and a half year old didn't sleep like mine did not sleep. And my sweet husband spent the night on the floor of his bedroom, getting him to calm down. And I had intended to go to yoga this morning, but I didn't get to. And so instead I had a three minute dance party and I can do yoga later in the day because I've built and cultivated that life and time freedom. I want that for you too. And I want you to make yourself right for it. So maybe you have this dream and desire and you wake up on a Monday morning and you're like, I got this, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna batch my content. I'm gonna take an hour and write all the things and you sit down and you get a call from school that you have to go pick up your sick kiddo or a client has something that they really need your support with and you have to drop everything in that moment. Or you just don't feel well and you decide that it feels better to lay in bed and sip your tea for an extra hour longer. I want you to know that that's okay. So instead of writing down that hour long of content that you thought you were going to do, can you do 15 minutes? Can you spend 20 minutes, take an old post and reformat it and make it into three other posts that you can share with your people and potential clients throughout the week? And this is what I teach my clients to do, both in my Rebel Mastermind and in my Practical Magic Business Accelerator that's coming up and scholarships are now open for CEO Enchantress. Get on in my business coaching free Facebook group or send me a message on any platform and I'll get you hooked up with that scholarship application. And it's what I teach in my VIP days. Okay, so you've got to make yourself right for every little step. Did you wake up this morning and think about your business? Fuck yeah, doing it right. Did you have a three minute dance party? Fuck yeah, doing it right. Okay, I know it sounds silly, but it's the game changer. Because if we can shift our mindset and our brains and our patterns now to count every little thing that moves your business forward, then you can create consistency and momentum. Because the way as women, as spiritual business owners, the way forward is in the little bits of time. It's in drawing the thread through with your needle with one stitch and then doing the next, the next day, okay? It's in setting a brick in the foundation and putting another brick on top of that. And no, it's it's very hard. If you think that you have to work eight hours a day, Monday through Friday, nine to five, it's very hard to get momentum, especially if you're working other jobs to pay the bills and you're supporting your family. And maybe you, like me, wake up thinking about what you're making for dinner that day. So instead of having this like massive amount of time, freedom, and spaciousness to build, you weave it in. You have a ritual and an intention setting ceremony when you drink your first cup of coffee, cacao, or tea in the morning. You whisper your deepest desires into your mug It doesn't take any extra time. It's simply ritualizing and crafting intimacy and intention with every step of being human, with every piece of what you're cultivating. Humans make meaning. It's what we do. We are storytellers. We are creators. We are namers. 
It's what we do. So how do you weave that into your business so that it's wild and witchy and abundant and pleasurable and fun? That's the work. That's the work of it. And breaking things down into bite-sized pieces and making yourself right for it. If you're currently selling something, I'm inviting you to reach out to five people today and send them a message inviting them to hire you, to work with you, to be massively well-supported by you. You've got this. I believe in you. This is your time. This is your year. This is your day, your moment. And every breath gets to be a new beginning. Inhale, exhale, new beginning. Here we go. And that's true whether it's January or March or November or December, but it's all in the ritual, the invocation, the intention, and weaving this beautiful life into your business. Because my goodness, if we're going to create something amazing that the world has never seen before, let's do it with joy and pleasure and intention first. That's it for today. Share this episode with other rebel healers so they too can make more money and deeply support their people. Join my free Facebook group at Business Coaching for Rebel Healers with Emily Otto and stay tuned for next week's episode. XOXO.